In this video, we are going to look at the biography of Olive Burroughs. She is the newest news anchor in Citizen TV. She replaced Victoria Rubadiri who joined CNN. Olive Burroughs' age is unknown, since she has not disclosed her date of birth to the public. However, she celebrates her birthday on October 16th every year. For her tribe, she hails from the Kamba community. She is also the only daughter to her deceased mother. Her father's background is mixed as he was born to a British father and Tanzanian mother. She grew up in Nairobi West. Now let's dive on Olive Burrow's education. For her early education, she attended Malesi Primary School in Lingata and then she proceeded to join Kenya High School. Her mum lost her job when she was in high school, and her relatives came in to help with her education. After completing high school, she enrolled at Daystar University, where she graduated with a Bachelor of Arts and Communication degree. Now we are diving deep into Olive Burrow's glamorous career. She kicked off her career when she was in her second year on campus at Daystar University. Olive wanted to have some pocket money and also some cash to help out her mother. She loved to write. Olive wrote to an editor Eddie Girl, but she told her that it was closing down and she was moving to Daily Metro. She started writing about entertainment. During this time, she contributed to a number of publications such as Destination Magazine, True Love, and Neem. From September 2007 to December 2007, she became an attache with the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation KBC. Within this period, she was also the magazine and sequence formats producer for Shine FM, the radio station for Daystar students. After working for a few months, she moved to Nation Media Group NMG where she worked as a contributor from October 2007 to April 2009. Her big break came in October 2012 when she joined Capital FM News as a reporter and went on to work in the media house for almost six years until May 2018. She worked at Capital FM long enough to be a legend. During her tenure at Capital FM, she rose through the ranks to become the associate editor. Olive Burroughs became the new face of NTV Primetime News in May 2018, replacing Victoria Rubadiri, who had quit the station earlier on. At NTV, she co-anchored the news with Dennis Okari. Olive and her co-anchor Dennis became the talk of the town after they made their debut as a team on the NTV screen. The viewers noted they had good chemistry when on air. They were christened as the most powerful media couple in Kenya as they always left their fans entertained when on or off air. At one time, the pictures of Olive helping Dennis out with makeup and tying his tie went viral, and fans even suggested that he should become Olive Burrow's husband. However, she responded that the kind of relationship that existed between them was a professional one, and the chemistry between them was genuine. The two have not been romantically linked to each other, and Dennis is happily married to Naomi Joy. Currently, Olive Burroughs joins Citizen TV to co-host news with Jeff Coinange. This is after the former co-host, Victoria Rubadiri, joined the international media outlet, CNN. Now let's take a look at the high-profile interviews by Olive Burroughs. Over the course of her career as an anchor, she has held high-profile interviews. During the interviews, she commits herself to asking the hard questions and telling the story in the most engaging way possible. One of her top interviews featured former US President Barack Obama when he visited Kenya in 2015. She also had a one-on-one -on -one interview with President Uhuru Kenyatta. She has also sat on an interview desk with UN Secretary General Ant Neo Guters, former US Secretary of State John Kerry, Melinda Gates the wife of Bill Gates, Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs Jen Day Elizabeth Fraser, and UNDP Administrator Akim Steiner. Olive Burroughs is a force to reckon with in the Kenyan television industry. She has an impressive portfolio and boasts of more than a decade of experience in journalism. Olive has had the pleasure of holding high-profile interviews, which makes her resume attractive to any future potential employer. She is one of the most sought-after news anchors in the country right now. Thank you so much for watching the video. Consider subscribing and turning on the post notifications. Also leave a like and comment down below. See you in the next video.